my ambition is I want to be a police woman because I want to because I want to find a new experience and be responsible towards my con and be responsible towards my country. I will try to protect my country and punish those who do the wrong. My ambition is to be a businessman because I want to help a young generation of the people to venture business plus I want to reduce the problem on an employment among the young pe or people. Furthermore, I want to help people to make more money or have a better life. My ambition is uh, Veterinary, veterinary officer. I want to become veterinary officer is, is because I love animals like cat. Another reason I want to become veterinary officer is because I follow my father advice. Dede TV KPM. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone who are now watching Upper Secondary Dede TV KPM and you are now with me, Irfan Shahmi. How are you guys doing? I hope you're feeling well because today we are going to learn something interesting which is related to English language for Form 4 pupils. All right. Before we proceed, we would like to know better who the teacher is going to teach us today. So let's proceed with uh, watching her profile video. Let's go. Alright, let us welcome our teacher for today, Teacher Amir Husna Muhammad Razali from SMK Datuk Mustafa Sabah Bernam Selangor. Assalamualaikum teacher, how are you? Assalamualaikum, I'm fine, thank you. How do you do? Yes, I'm fine. I'm great as well because I have teacher accompanying me today. <laughs> Alright, teacher, before we proceed, maybe you can introduce yourself to the people out there? Alright, hello everyone. My name is Amira Husna binti Muhammad Razali. I'm an English teacher from SMK Datuk Mustafa. You can call me Teacher Amira. I've been mm -hmm. teaching for six years. Six years experience. All right. And I believe you also have your pupils from your school, right? Yes. So please introduce them, Teacher. Thank okay. you. All right. So from the left side, mm -hmm. there is Ain Shamimi. Hello, Shamimi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay. Next to Shamimi is Nurul Suzana. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hi, Suzana. Suzana. Okay. Down there under Suzana is Ahna Umaira. Hello, Ahna. Hello, nice to meet you. And next to Ahna is Alia Batrisha. Hello, Alia. All right, all of them are students from SMK Datuk Mustafa. All right, so we have additional of four flowers with us today. So, teacher, before we proceed, maybe you can tell us what is the lesson for today? Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to focus on the speaking skills mm -hmm. and listening skills. All right. So these students are going to share about their opinions on different professions. I see. I think that is interesting because profession is something that we're going to uh, go further on, right? Yes. So let's proceed. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. So the topic for today's lesson is ready for anything. Mm -hmm. So this lesson is taken from English Form 4 textbook, Full Blast Plus 4. So the lesson comprises the main skill of speaking and the complementary skill of listening. See? All right, before I begin with our lesson, I'm yep. going to talk about the learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to explain and justify own point of view on mm -hmm. the characteristics of a profession and why these characteristics are important using suitable adjective, yes. phrases and sentence structures. Pupils will also be able to identify or show understanding of one or two complex questions posed by teacher by answering the questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, teacher, before we proceed, so just now we watch uh, some, some videos, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, your, your pupils giving opinions. So what is, is it related to our lesson today? Is okay. It so uh, people are going to share their opinions on different professions mm -hmm. and identify the characteristic needed for each profession. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, teacher, for this segment. And I believe there will be more sharing knowledge after this. So now we shall take a break and see you after this in the TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. TV. 
KPM. Didik TV KPM. Welcome back to Upper Secondary English Language for Form 4 Pupils. All right, teacher. So for this segment, what are we going to do? Is it about still profession? Or? Yes. Yes, OK. So okay. let's proceed. Thank you. All right. So for the first activity of our speaking today, mm -hmm. I'm going to show our students few pictures of different profession. And the students are going to identify the suitable personality adjective related to each profession. I see. All right. Okay. So let's start the game. Yep. OK. For the first picture, I have a profession of a librarian. Mm -hmm. All right, Irfan, can you please help me to pick one student? All right, of course can. So the first flower that I will pick is, how about Nurul Susana? Can you help us? Hello, Susana. Hello. All right, so if you are ready, Please give some personality adjective, right, teacher? Yes. On the librarian. All right, Susanna. So this is a profession of a librarian. Mm -hmm. Can you please share with me which suitable personality adjective related to a librarian? Which one? I, I think a librarian is dedicated and... Did you say dedicated just now? Susanna, can you please uh -huh. identify the personality adjective a for a librarian? I think a librarian should mm -hmm. be dedicated and ambitious. Dedicated and? Can you please repeat that word again? Ambitious. 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 Ah. Okay. okay. So okay. according to Susanna, a librarian needs to be someone who is dedicated mm -hmm. and ambitious. I think she is true because... Yep. A librarian needs to be dedicated to his or her work. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you, Susanna. Thank you. All right, next, we have a picture of a football player. Mm -hmm. All right, so why don't we ask Alia? Alia, so what do you think is the suitable personality adjective related to a football player? Uh, I think a football player needs to be active and mm -hmm. passionate in their profession. Okay, so a football player needs to be active and passionate in their profession. Well, that is true of because course. a football player is someone who usually play outdoors yes. and they need to be extra active. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, good job everyone. So, teacher, can we give some reward to Alia and Susanna? Yes, I think they make a really good answer. Mm -hmm. So, why don't we give them five stars? Five stars! Yes. All right, congratulations to Susanna and Alia. So, there are two uh, flowers left that still have to compete for the reward. So True. let's continue, teacher. All right. So moving on to the next slide. So next, I have a picture of a firefighter. Mm -hmm. All right. So for this one, let's ask Anna. Anna, what do you think is the suitable personality Anna, adjective for a firefighter? Suitable personality adjective for a firefighter? I think a firefighter should be courageous and reliable mm -hmm. with his work. Okay, Gee. so a firefighter needs to be someone who is brave or courageous yes. someone who is and reliable mm -hmm. to his work because uh, it is a noble job and we usually need firefighter for emergency cases. Yes. So they need to be reliable. But the, and the firefighter, of course, will save some life, right? Yes, so true. He or she needs to be very brave and courageous. Yes, well okay. done, Ahna. Good job. Right. So a reward? Yes, five stars for five her. Five stars for her. All right, congratulations. Yep, move okay, on to the next, next picture. Okay, next picture, we have a profession of a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So why don't we ask... Mm -hmm. Can we ask Shamimi? Shamimi, what do you think about the profession of a flight attendant? Which suitable personality adjective related to flight attendant? I think a flight attendant must be sociable and patient with her work. Okay. Yes. So a flight attendant needs to be sociable mm -hmm. and patient with his or her work. Well, I think that is true as well of because course. a flight attendant needs to attend to flight passengers' requests yep. and then they have to be patient mm -hmm. with certain maybe fussy requests. Yes. Yeah. So I think flight attendant really needs to be someone sociable mm -hmm. and patient. And patient. And I think, teacher, the passion 
uh, has to be like more higher and higher than, than everyone else because uh, they are going to attend like some sort of different characteristic of person, yes, right? True. Okay, so five, five stars, stars also yes. for Shami. Well done, Shami. All right. Okay. All right, let's Do we move have on more to pictures? the next slide. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So this one, we have a profession of a doctor. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Irfan. Okay. You mm -hmm. want to ask me? All right. I will yes. try my best. You are my student for today. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. what do you think is the suitable personality adjective for a doctor? Okay. So to be a doctor, I believe a person needs to be selfless. Mm -hmm. And of course, to be, uh, he needs to be intelligent as well. Well, I have to mm -hmm. agree with you. Yeah. A doctor needs to be someone who is selfless mm -hmm. or maybe empathetic. Yep because they need to feel the pain of the mm -hmm. patient in order to understand them and they also need to be someone intelligent in order to diagnose the sickness of their patient. All right. Well, five stars for you. Five stars for me. Thank you well so done. much, teacher. Okay, so we have the last picture of a businessman out. Okay, so do you want to pick this All right. people? Okay, can we have a volunteer? Mm -hmm. A volunteer. Girls, anyone would like to volunteer for the last picture? Yep. Yes. Alia, raise. All right, Alia. Okay. Okay, so this is a profession of a businessman. So what do you think is the suitable personality adjective related to a businessman? Uh, I think a businessman should be creative and intelligent in their work. Okay, mm -hmm. so a businessman should be someone who is creative and intelligent. Well, they need to, to be intelligent in order to... Uh, manage their business yep. and then they also need to be creative in order to promote their mm -hmm. items or things they sell for marketing. I see. Yes. Okay. So, can we give five stars for Alia? Uh, yes, five stars for five Alia. Five stars for Definitely. Alia. Yeah. Congratulations, Alia. Okay, teacher. So, I think we have done with the, uh, pers the adjective, personality adjective. Yes. So, uh, I have some question for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, in, in the process of, of uh, achieving our goals, right? Mm -hmm. And then to be someone uh, that has uh, higher capabilities such as doctor or businessman. So what are the other characteristics that we need to have? Okay, I believe in order to achieve success mm -hmm. in whatever we do or whatever career we are joining in, I think we need to be focused yep. and have full commitment. Mm -hmm. okay? Besides being passionate, we also need to be uh, fully knowledgeable and master about the things that we are going to do. Mm -hmm. So expertise is really an important matter here. Yeah, expertise. And expertise doesn't come in one day, right, teacher? Yes, true. It has to be a lot of practice. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher, for this segment. And I believe uh, people out there is actually benefited from our discussion right now. So we shall take a break and I'll see you after this Immediate TV KPM. <laughs> KPM. Thank you for tuning in with us again in Upper Secondary English Language Form for Pupils in the TV KPM. So, teacher, just now we have learned about the personality adjective, right? Yes. And about uh, some of the profession. So, for this segment, what are we going to learn? Okay, for this segment, the students are going to construct sentences for their speaking. Mm -hmm. So they will use the speaking frame and again, personality adjective in order to describe their profession. I see. I, this is interesting. I, I would like to know how they're going to structure the sentence. So let's just proceed. All right, thank you. Okay, so for the next speaking activity, we are going to have few pictures. Mm -hmm. The students are going to talk about their assigned profession and then they are going to identify the characteristic needed for each profession. Mm. They also need to mention their likes and dislikes toward the profession and justify their reasons. I see. All right. So before we begin, I'm going to show an example. Mm -hmm. So this is the first picture. We have a picture of a dentist. Okay. Okay. So what characteristic do you need to have for this profession? What do you think, Irfan? I think a dentist need uh, to be selfless as well. Mm -hmm. Same like doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let's see. So here I have a language box in order to help our students okay. to construct better sentences for their speaking. 
So they can use this language box consisting of personality adjective in mm. order to help them to describe their profession. So first, we have perform well under pressure, yep. deal with emergencies, be passionate, work well in a team, be organized, be encouraging, have good communication skills, like helping other people, be hardworking, and be a role model. Mm. So from this language box, what do you think is related to the profession of a dentist? Okay, so to answer your question, teacher, I believe the first thing or the most important things that a dentist need to be is he must be able to deal with emergencies. Okay, yeah. so a dentist need to deal with emergencies. Mm -hmm. Do you have not anything else? And like helping other people. All right. It's also, a, a dentist need to have good communication skills because he needs to cater to the needs of the patient. Yes, everybody mm -hmm. is scared to see the dentist. Yep. You know? And of course, be encouraging. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> because so I think dentist? some of the patient may, might be uh, fear to, to the operation that needed, right? So he must be able to encourage the patient to be ready uh, for the treatment. Yes, I also think that a dentist need to encourage their patients mm -hmm. to take good care of their yeah. dental health. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so just now we have our language box consisting of personality adjective. Now we have a speaking frame. Mm -hmm. So we can use the speaking frame in order to construct sentence for our speaking. So this sentence will help our students to make their sentences better and speak better. See? Okay. So for the first speaking frame, they may use to become a dentist mm -hmm. or people who want to become a dentist. In my opinion, you need to be able to or I believe, or I think, I suppose you must have the ability to. So for these two, the students can use this in order to express their opinion or yep. views. Next, you definitely need to because mm -hmm. I disagree or I don't think so because. Mm -hmm. So the last phrase can be used in order to disagree with another people's point of view. Yeah, this is the words that we use to justify our yes, sentence. Yes, true. All right. So let's see the example. Okay. So here is the first sentence. To become a dentist, a person must be able to deal with emergencies. Mm -hmm. All right, so the phrases highlighted in green is the speaking frame, okay. while the phrases highlighted in red is the personality adjective. So here in the first sentence, I already put the speaking frame together with personality adjective. Okay, let's see the second sentence. I believe you must have the ability to work well in a team and be organized if you wish to become a successful dentist. Mm. So the speaking frame used is, I believe you must have the ability to. Okay. So you are actually mentioning your opinion. Yes. Uh, so you're trying to express your opinion by saying you believe. Okay. And then the personality adjective used are marked in red. Mm -hmm. So work well in a team and be organized. Be organized. Okay. Uh, so in order to become a dentist, they need to work well in a team and be organized. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So here I have different pictures of profession. See. So now we are going to pass the floor to our students mm -hmm. and let's hear them out. All let's right. Let's go. Okay. For the first picture, it is a profession of a teacher. Mm -hmm. So can we ask Shamimi? Hello, Shamimi. Hello. Hello. All right. Okay, Shamimi. So what characteristic do you need to have to become a teacher? The characteristics needed to become a teacher are to be passionate with the job and have a good communication skills. Mm -hmm. A teacher must be hardworking too. Okay. okay. So a teacher needs to have a good communication skill, yeah. hardworking and passionate with their job. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to agree with you as I am a teacher myself. Yes. True. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, Shamimi, so do you like the profession as a teacher? Do you like it or not? I like it. You, you like it, okay. Can you please tell me the reason why? Yeah, justify your answer. I like the profession as a teacher because the teacher does not only educate the student. Mm -hmm. They are also learning from their student and people around them. Mm -hmm. We learn life lessons mm -hmm. from each other without edge limitation. 
Okay. Well, okay. that is true. As a teacher myself, I think I'm not only the person. I'm not the only person who's teaching mm -hmm. because, uh, and my students are not the only one learning because. Yep. I am learning from them as well. Mm, uh, and sometimes we can get input from our students, right, yes, teacher? Yes, true. Okay, how about the reward for Shamimi, teacher? I think she did well. What do you yeah. think? I think she deserves five stars. Yes, five stars for Shamimi. All right, Thank congratulations, you. Shamimi. Five stars for you. Okay, so can we move on to the next picture, teacher? Yes, all right. So for the second picture, we have a profession of a paramedic. Mm -hmm. All right, for this one, can I ask Alia? Alia, so what do you think are the characteristics needed to become a paramedic? Uh, I think uh, the characteristic needed to become a paramedic mm -hmm. is efficiency and able to deal with emergency. Okay. I think para a paramedic must be able to work under pressure too. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason all these characteristics is important as a paramedic is to ensure that uh, injured people can be treated safely. Mm -hmm. Yes. So paramedic is needed to treat injured people. Mm -hmm. All right. Alia, so according to your sentences just now, can you please identify which personality adjective that you use? Uh, efficiency and able to deal if no no uh, deal with emergency and efficiency okay, okay so a paramedic needs to be someone who can deal with emergencies, emergencies. and they need to be someone who is efficient yes. well all right so do you like the mm -hmm. profession as a paramedic alia uh, yes i like it uh, because the job as a paramedic uh, it's a noble job mm -hmm. and can save someone life. Yeah. Mm, definitely, because the paramedic is actually the first responder mm -hmm. to the scene, and then they will try to save someone's life. Yep. Uh huh. So it's definitely a noble job. All right. Thank you, Alia. Good you, idea. Alia. Five stars for you. Five star for Alia as well. Congratulations. Okay. So do we have more pictures after this? Yes. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so mm -hmm. for the next picture, we have an athlete. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So why don't we ask Ahna? Ahna, okay. so what characteristic do you need to have to become an athlete? The characteristics needed to become an athlete is to be passionate and work well in a team too. Mm -hmm. I believe an athlete must be able to organize the table and not dependent on others. Mm -hmm. The reason all these characteristics is important as an athlete is to be a role model for others. Okay. okay. So an athlete can be a role model to others, so they need to be passionate enough mm -hmm. and work well in a team. Yes. Well, that is definitely true because Sometimes athletes, they work in a team. Yeah. So they For need to example, be a, team player. a football team, right? Yes. So we, we cannot play alone. Mm -mm. So we have to be in a good team shape and actually to communicate well with our yes. teammates. So that we can score more goals, right? True. Very <laughs> true. All right. So uh, can you please tell me, Anna, uh, mm -hmm. which personality adjective do you use for an athlete? Yeah. Anna, are you there? and work well in a team. Okay, so Anna used the personality adjective of passionate, passionate. and work well in a team. Very good. What the about the speaking frame, Anna? Can you please identify, identify the speaking frame that you use? To become an and I believe. Okay, to become an athlete and I believe. So here, we can clearly identify that you are trying to express your opinion. Yep. Okay. All right. Very good, Ahana. But I have another question. Mm -hmm. Do you like the profession as an athlete? Yeah. You please answer. Thank you, Ahana. All right. Very good, Ahana. I have another question. Do you like the profession as an athlete? I like 
I like the profession as an athlete because they unite people from all over the world. Yes. For example, the football fans around the world gather in the stadium to watch football match. Athlete also can set an example to instill sportsmanship among society. Aha, mm-hmm. uh-huh. interesting idea. Yep. I think that's the reason most football fans prefer to watch the game yes. from the stadium mm-hmm. instead of watching it from the television. Because you can feel the united. Uh, and I believe, teacher, when we go to the stadium to watch a football game, right, even if we don't know the person that we sit next to, yes. but we can actually talk to each other during the game because we have the spirit. Yes, yes. true. <laughs> so that's how football or sports unite people. Yes. All exactly. right, well then, Anna. So five stars for you. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so we, I think we have the last picture yes, here. Yes, last but not least, a picture of a receptionist. Mm-hmm. So let's ask Susanna. Susanna, so what characteristic do you need to have to become a receptionist? Um, I think the characteristic needed to is a good communication and professionalism okay okay so a receptionist a receptionist needs to be someone who have a good communication skills and they need to be professional as well well that is true mm, but can you please tell me do you like the profession as a receptionist I don't like it. you don't mm-hmm. like it okay this is the first one yes why this is something new. This is something new. Why did you like this profession, uh, Susanna? Because I am not a multitasking person mm-hmm. and I want to be able to task at one time. I see. Can you please repeat, Susanna? Because I am not a multitasking person and I want to be able to handle with tasks at one time. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have to agree with you. Okay? Because she is not a multitasking person mm-hmm. and she cannot handle too many works at one time. Yep. Do you have any more ideas, Susanna? Um, no. All right. No. Thank okay. you. So I think that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's give Susanna five stars. Five stars. All right. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. So, teacher, just to add on a little bit. So, uh, can I answer that question as well? Because, yes, true. Uh, for the record, I used to be a receptionist at the okay. hotel before this. Mm-hmm. And I really like this job because okay. I can actually uh, communicate with people around the world. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if sometimes English can be like a barrier uh-huh. because they don't speak English, but we have to give like some sort of uh, body language to actually communicate with people. So that is why I think uh, being a receptionist can actually help you to communicate better in, with, uh, with other persons. Well, mm-hmm. when you get to know new people or different people from different country, it's good for your networking, right? Yes, of course. True. And I still have friends from uh, Saudi Arabia. Aha, yes, still so in contact till now. <laughs> yes, okay. So, yep, I think that is all for me. Okay, teacher, all right. So can we proceed with other activities? Okay. So, uh, I think we already done with mm-hmm. this part. Then I have a few questions okay. that I would love to hear about uh, it from our students. Yep. So, let's hear from our students' opinion. So, the first question is, why is it important for an athlete to be passionate in what he does? Okay. Uh-huh. All right, let's have a volunteer. Can someone please volunteer? Okay, the four flowers out there. It's time for your call. Anyone would like to volunteer? Okay, can, all right. Okay, Alia we Patricia. have Alia. Alia, why is it important for an athlete to be passionate in what he does? Uh, I think an athlete uh, need to be passionate in what he does to become a champion in mm. the sport involved uh, as well as to promote uh, the name of Malaysia in sport arena. Well, okay, well that's done. a good idea. I think being passionate is a strong yeah. word. So passion can actually drive someone mm-hmm. to become better and achieve success in life. Yeah. Well, with passion, everybody can do the impossibles mm-hmm. and make it possible. Yep. 
And also, I like when she said that uh, being a good sportman can actually promote Malaysia's name. Yes. True. And we can see a lot of examples such as Datuk Nicole David mm -hmm. and Datuk Lee Chong Wei. Yes. So there are some examples that can actually promote our Malay uh, Malaysian names to, to the uh, world out there. Yes, mm. true. Mm. Okay. So how about the reward, teacher? Okay, I will give you five stars five for interesting stars. idea. Okay. Okay. Well done, Alia. All right. Okay. Why, why don't we ask another person for the first question? So, can I ask Shamimi? Shamimi, why is it important for an athlete to be passionate in what he does? Passion is an important ingredient for athletes. Mm -hmm. If he's not passionate enough in joining sports, it will make him or her feel less motivated to train and eventually loses interest to take part in sports. Okay. Well, passion is some sort of motivation mm -hmm. for an athlete. Well, that is true. Five stars for you. Congratulations. Well done, Shamimi. Thank you for your idea. Okay, why don't we move on to the next question. Shall we? Why would somebody who is anxious not make a good paramedic? Mm. Mm. So this okay. is a reflection. Yep. All right, so why don't we ask Anna? Anna, what do you think about the second question? Why would somebody who's anxious not make a good paramedic? Anna, are you there? Can you hear us, Anna? Okay, teacher. I believe there is some sort of uh, internet connection problem. Mm -hmm. So can we move on to yes. the next people? Okay, why don't we ask Susanna? Okay, Susanna. Susanna, are you there? All right, Susanna, what do you think about the second question? Why would somebody who is anxious not make a good paramedic? Mm -hmm. Somebody who is anxious to make a good paramedic because their mental health may be affected when as we a challenging case. Oh, I see. So somebody who is anxious might not make a good paramedic because it might affect their mental health mm -hmm. when they are facing with challenging or maybe emotional yeah. situation well that is true sometimes it, it will be too much for someone to handle so they might be incapable of doing their job mm -hmm. especially in the case of emergencies yeah. Yeah. well that's a good idea Susanna thank you five stars for you five stars for Susanna as well congratulations everyone and I believe your pupils actually can I answer your question brilliantly? Yes. Congratulations. All right. So, do since, since we have actually given them stars and rewards, so now it's time for us to take a break. Yes. Sure. See you after this in the TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. KPM. You are still with me, Irfan Shami, in Didet TV KPM. And for this last segment, teacher, what are we going to learn? All right, so for the next activity, we are going to be in a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon, interesting. Where do we go? Okay, we are going somewhere, okay. obviously. <laughs> All right. So for this activity, the students are going to be in a hot air balloon, mm -hmm. but the problem is the balloon is going down. Oh no. Oh no, yes. So one person must leave the hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to decide who should leave the balloon? All right, so for this one, the students are going to be assigned with one profession each, okay. and they need to justify why their profession is more important than the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's start with different colors. We are going okay. to have the first students. Can someone volunteer, please? Yep. Volunteer is the best one. Okay, so, all right, all right Anna. Anna. Okay. Okay, Anna, which color do you pick? Hmm. Which color? Can you repeat that again? Louder, please. 
I choose green color. Oh, green so color. You choose the first one, the green color. I so let's green see. Green color. All right. Yes, yeah, we can hear you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's see what is your assigned profession. All right. Aha, uh -huh. ah. a teacher. Mm -hmm. So, Anna, you are a teacher. All right, Anna, you need to justify why the job as a teacher is more important in order to save yourself from going down. All right, Anna? If you're ready, can the you floor please start? Is... I think being a teacher. Yes, you can proceed. I think being a teacher is important. Because the typical younger generation nowadays, the mm -hmm. better human is the future. They also can be role model for youngsters. Teacher also need to be kind and friendly to their students in order to make connection with students. Okay, so a teacher is actually a role model for youngsters, yep. and they also need to make connection with students. As the job okay. of a teacher is important. Mm -hmm. Well, I do agree with her because I am a teacher myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See. Okay. Thank That's you, fair. Anna. Mm. So let's see the other profession. Yep. Okay. So why don't we have another volunteer? Can I have someone to volunteer? Okay, okay Shamimi. Shamimi. So which color do you pick? Yeah, pick one color first. I prefer red color. Oh, mm, you prefer red. red. Is for the brave one. Yep. So let's see. Aha, a paramedic. Okay, so why don't you justify why the profession as a paramedic is more important than the other jobs in the world? Yeah, sell your point. I think paramedic needs to stay focused in case of emergency. Mm -hmm. The role of paramedic is important to ensure that injured patients can be treated safely. Okay, okay, so... Paramedic also need to be fast and fit enough to help people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a paramedic need to be someone who is fast enough mm -hmm. because they are the first responder. Yep. And they also need to be someone who can deal with difficult challenges. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Is the profession as a paramedic is important? What do you think? Shamimi, is it really important? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Shall well, yes. that's a good idea. Thank mm -hmm. you, Shamimi. Congratulations. Okay. What about we hear from the rest of the student? Let's see. Okay. For the third profession, can we have another volunteer? Yep. Raise up your hand and choose the color. Any volunteer? Yeah. Okay, Susanna. All right, Susanna. So only blue and purple left. Mm -hmm. Which color would you pick? Blue, okay. She said blue. Oh, she said blue. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's see. Aha, uh -huh. blue is an athlete. All right, Susanna, so what do you think the profession as an athlete is important? I think being an athlete is so much more than going out and playing a sport. It's about okay. doing something you love, firing others, and model for the next generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so an athlete is not just someone who do the practice and work out. Yep. So their role is to bring maybe the name of the country to the eyes of the world. Mm -hmm. And as we mentioned or discussed earlier, they also unite people through yep. sports. Mm, well, I think yes, athlete is important too. And also but she said that uh, these athletes can actually be good role model yes, for youngsters out there. Indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Susanna. Well, last but not least, no other colors left. So we have the last person, yep. Alia. Okay, Alia, only purple left for you. So let's see what is your assigned profession. Mm. So it is a receptionist. Okay, Alia, why don't you tell me what is the importance of becoming a receptionist? Uh, I think being a receptionist is important because uh, not only will the receptionist handle interruption of phone ringing, but mm -hmm. uh, should be able to deliver message and 
prioritize project for the entire staff. They also can converse with customer and other caller without feeling unsure. Hmm. Oh, I see. So, being a receptionist is important as well yep. because they deal with the tasks like this, mm -hmm. clerical work and maybe to manage uh, things between calls and yes. directories. So, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you, Alia. Well mm -hmm. So now they really make it difficult to vote out one profession. Yes, I also have that difficult to actually balance out uh, the profession that is more important here. Yes, but the problem is the hot air balloon is going down. Oh so God. we really need to vote out one mm -hmm. profession. Well, let's hear our students' opinion. Okay. okay, among all these four professions, which one should we vote out? Yeah. Can you please share your answer? We'll start first. Oh, okay. Ah, all right, they all right. are going to pop out the answer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Receptionist, okay. Ooh, hmm, Alia okay. said at least not as what important. What about you, Susanna? What do you choose? Receptionist as well. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Anna, you make the call. Let's go. Which profession is the least important? We have uh, one vote out for athlete, yep. two voted out for receptionist. What about Anna? Anna, can you share with us? Anna, are you there? What profession do you pick? Anna? Can you show me your paper? Which profession should we vote out? Again, can everyone show at the same time? Okay, okay so right. Anna actually f is facing um, some internet connection uh -uh. problem. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have to vote it out for receptionist. Yeah. Can we please ask at least one from one of them to tell me the reason why we mm -hmm. should vote out a receptionist? Okay, Alia, why don't you share? You voted out an athlete. So can you give me the reason why? Uh, I think uh, I, uh, be, it's only... Uh, no, uh, I think I vote out athlete because it's only suitable for young people who uh, have talent in sports. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, maybe. Okay. okay, what about we hear from Shamimi? Shamimi, you voted out a receptionist. So why? Yes. What, what do you pick receptionist? This is a quick one. I, I voted out the receptionist mm -hmm. because I think the other profession is more critical and popular. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank so, you so much, Shamimi. All right. all right, so we have done one hour lesson with teacher Amira uh, right now. So teacher, can you summarize all about the lesson that we have today? All right, I think so. From the lesson today, the students were able mm -hmm. to identify or differentiate among the professions. Yeah. They also managed to uh, list the characteristics needed for mm -hmm. each profession. And somehow I think they managed to speak in English confidently. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, teacher, how about your people's performance, the whole performance for okay, this Okay, overall I think they managed to speak mm -hmm. and maybe uh, construct sentences by using personality adjective. Yeah. And also they managed to use the phrases as speaking frames. So overall, I will award them five marks. Five marks. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, teacher, one last question. So for my friends out there, where can they get uh, practice or exercise to enhance their understanding on this topic? All right, so for viewers at home, you may refer to all these materials at Sumberku. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Teacher Amira, for being with us today. And I pray that everyone watching now can actually achieve their goals and dreams. So till then, Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. See ya.
KP